Hey guys, the Xers are here. This is the second part in how to tell if your cards are fake or not. For this one, we'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the cards. Now, uh, <laughs> one thing I noticed, opening up the Stormfront pack, I only had nine cards. The, the mirror hollow was right on top, and the last card was put in backwards. Speaking of backwards, look at how horrible that back is. I didn't really... I didn't <laughs> the, uh, the line on the real one isn't that pronounced, and also the inside is darker on this one and the outside is lighter. It's just horrible. Also, what's up with that orange Pokeball? Oh, you can't really see it in the video. That Pokeball is orange. So, uh, I have here a couple of the real cards. First, let me show you what was in here. I have my uh, Story via Mirror Hollow. Notice how you really can barely see the background in the mirror. It looks almost like it's just a solid chrome card. I had a Nido Queen. Also, I think that was the only Stormfront card in this pack. Everything else was Rising Rivals. So, uh, this pack was a little better. There actually were 10 cards in here. The very first card was a hollow. Um, there's no sparkle to it. It's just shiny. And the fonts are really weird. The colors are also really off. Some of them don't look that bad if you look at the artwork. But you really start seeing it when you see the, um, the fonts. So, yeah, I think you might have seen all of Alex. Um, first, we're going to start with this Metal Energy card. Here's the fake. Here's the real one. They're both from the same set. And that bottom row, except for the font being off, doesn't really look that bad. The font doesn't even look that bad here. But you can see it here. Uh, it's a little thicker on the fake one. If you look at the top, you can barely see the other colors. And this one, nope, they're, they're spelling it out clear as day. You'd almost think you had a rainbow energy here. I mean, look, look, look how colorful that is. This one, you know, the colors aren't as vibrant. You see the uh, little energy patterns, roll some more here. And up, up in this corner, it's completely lost. The contrast is really bad on these. Um, in this pack, I also had a battle toy. Here's a real one. Again, the colors are off. The fonts are off. The um, energy symbols are also off. Look at the font on the flavor text. What are they trying to do? Like, look at the word Pokemon there. And look at the word Pokemon there. So they went a little too fancy. And if you look at the, um... Fonts on this... It's just horrible. Some fakes... I don't think I have any in this, but um, some of them even would have, let me see, any of these have, or I could show you, you'll know, you would notice how um, the little line over the E, some of them, they would use a font that didn't have that character in the set, so there'd be a little square. If you've ever done anything with graphics, you know that that meant that the symbol is missing, or there is no symbol for it. And, uh, that's how I was able to tell my first batch of cards were fake. Also, you notice how I got the Electabire FB level up. But it looks just like a regular plain card. Now I have a real level X right here. 
you can see it's got the sparkle on the side, it's got some sparkle in the background. Big even where his level up is off. But when they scanned it, the sparkle, the little shapes, they're there. They're just not doing anything because they're not holographic. It's just a straight up regular card. I also I forgot I left this on the side. I didn't have this. I thought I had just Arabia. I didn't. Maybe I did and I traded it. But you can see here the mirror on this one. It's put more color to it. This one doesn't really. And again. Now correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there's such attack called shot air. That just doesn't seem right. Maybe it is shot air. I don't have this card. But even I really won't show up. Maybe a little bit it'll show up in here. The entire thing has this mirror treatment the whole way through the card, even up to the border. I think if I hold it right there you can see it a little bit. Right around here. And you know, with this one, it ends. The only thing mirror, um, let's see if I can get, see the only part shining is the border around it. With this one, the entire card will shine. Border, picture. So those are the fake cards, those are the real ones. Actually, to finish this off, <laughs> When I had first opened this up, the second I saw the first card, I was like, oh wow, that's fake. So, it's, it's, the colors in this are atrocious. Oh, these are the same makers that made the, uh, the beautiful, beautiful Electifier FB. Um, it has the same type of hollow as the Relicanth. No sparkle, just shiny. This thing is also really hard to open. I might need a scissor. <laughs> okay, just give me one moment. Okay, we're back. Almost scratched the top of the cards, the scissors, but doesn't matter. They're fake. Now, let's. You'll notice on some of them, they kind of have this weird curl up to them, like they were stamped out. Um, I think this one had it more noticeable. Oh, no, I was mistaken. It's not showing up as well on the camera, but if you, if you see that in the back, congratulations, you've got a fake card. Um, here we are again, a non-holograph, but all the little sparkles that would show up in the backgrounds were captured by the scanner. Look at that greenish sand shrew. Let's see how many other crazy cards we have in here. More horrible fonts. More horrible colors. I'm not seeing any missing character symbols in any of these though. Oh, here we are. A relative non-hollow. I didn't really think any more cards would have a hollow and not hollow version since Wizard stopped making them. I mean, I know there were some, there'd be some exclusives if you bought a deck, but just like this. And let me see the symbols on here. Surprisingly enough, these are all Supreme Victor's cards. Though the symbol is offset quite a bit. But here we are, another hologram that isn't. This one doesn't really have the sparkles too much. <laughs> I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to leave this up for a second and see if you guys catch on to it. <laughs> you guys give up? No. I please, I hope you didn't because it's kind of obvious. Pachirisu on a Pikachu. I almost want to put this in my binder, take it to the league, and show the guys. 
that was going to be a bit more flustered than normal because I just was not expecting that. You know, I wonder how many others had the wrong name on them. I wasn't even paying attention. Cynthia's Guidance? So yeah, I think the shot air might have been wrong. What is up with that? It is all smeared. Looks like the inkjet printer had a little uh, bit of a hiccup there. Uh oh, <laughs> another level X. Oh, it's yellow goodness. I don't know. I didn't notice that before. So um, that concludes my special on how to tell if your cards are fake. Um, it really doesn't get much more obvious than this. Pa patchy. What is that? I don't even know what patchy is. So, um... <laughs> patchy research. Okay. Alright, so this is the X-Scissors showing you how to tell if your cards are fake. Um, I'd hope in this situation I wouldn't have to tell you how to tell if your cards are fake. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope, hope you learned something. I know I've learned a few things. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. It's just I was not expecting this. I, I've seen like missing characters, misspellings, but to have the wrong name on the card—that's that's a first in all my years running across bootlegs. So, um, yeah. To recap again, this has been how to tell if your cards are fake. Uh, this is the X Scissor. Signing out.